Welcome to my channel. I'm Chandrika and this is Rika Life. So if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you found me. Um, just to give you a little bit of background about me, I have been crocheting since 2014 and um, I primarily crochet now blankets, baby blankets, mandalas that turn into blankets or just mandalas. Um, and then I also make um, things for donation. So for donations, I make baby caps. I make, um, uh, now I make, I made shawls. I made um, caps for cancer patients. Um, and more recently, I've been making baby loveys. Um, those are some of the things that I've been donating. And then the most recent things I've been doing is I actually started a Shopify store. So um, I have about 11 pieces up for sale. Um, my shop is linked in the description box below, also in my About Me. Um, that should be easy to find. And um, on my shop, you can see those pieces that I have up for sale. They're really pretty. And I'm so happy that I finally got my store up and running. It's been really amazing. And now I need to kind of switch gears and work on the marketing of that and getting the word out. So I'd love if you could, you know, share my channel or share my Shopify store with others who would love it. Um, they Everything I make um, that's on my store would make great gifts or even uh, for a loved one. So um, yes, check that out. And um, so just to give you a heads up, um, I'm recording two videos right now and then I will be off for one week um, and then I will be back near the end of August. So this is the first of two videos and in this video I wanted to share with you um, some of those items for donations that I'm going to be making um, because I have some of them here with me. I think I just, oh yeah, okay, I have some with me. So um, the baby caps I'm working on, so I'll show you a couple of what I have. Um, these caps are made for babies in the maternity ward or babies in the NICU, wherever they feel um, they would be needed. So they're not very big, they're quite small. And these are all uh, made using leftover yarn, so which is just, you know, scraps from my other projects. So these are a few of them. And then have this one. Oh, this one is a little bit bigger. And then I think I have two more um, on my couch. And I have, I think, three or four um, leftover yarns that are pulled out that I'm going to be making more hats with. So right now I have five, I have nine here, 10, 11 made, and um, likely will make four or five more. I'd love to get it to about 20 so that it's more substantial when I can give that to the hospital. Um, I'm hoping to make the donation um, when you watch this video this week. So let's see how that goes. Um, now I wanted to show you some of the loveys I made. I have shown the loveys in a previous video, but I didn't show these two because they weren't done. Now they are. So this is my little ducky lovey. <laughs> That's what he looks like. He's not sad. He's actually a basketball lovey. So the rest of his body's underneath there. This pattern again, um, I will try and link in this video. And what it is, is basically an elastic that you crochet around and then you create this granny square. Um, it's a very easy pattern. Once you've learned it, you can do it over and over. And um, it's a really great way to even use up like scrap yarn. So that's one. So I have, in total, I think I have 10. So this is one of the ones I just finished. And this is the other one. This is actually an Easter bunny. It says Happy Easter. So this guy has his own little matching blankie. These are called Lovey. So these are both of them. Let me see if I can hold these up together. Yeah. His eye looks so weird. Oh my god. His eye looks so weird in that. Okay, hold on. Let's do that again. Nope, it's his other eye. I don't know what's happening with his eye. Anyways, there. Now he looks okay. Okay, so that's 
the little Easter bunny and the little ducky. So these are two that are ready. And then I wanted to show you, um, I have four more to do. So I'm done six. Uh, I'll show you the love uh, the stuffies and then I'll show you the yarn. So I have this little guy and then I have three more dogs. I have this guy, this cat, and this dog. They're so cute. <laughs> They're actually really cute. So um, again, all of these will be having the elastic here and then a blankie going over them. So those are the the stuffies and then I'm just going to show you um, the yarn that I took out that I may use for this. Um, I have not really decided just because they're all kind of like tan and brown. I don't know what colors to use. These are some of the colors I picked out. So I picked out this um, Karen Cotton Cakes, this color, sorry. I pulled this out, I thought this might be nice. And this is um, a cotton acrylic blend. So I thought this yarn could be nice on one of them. So I have that. Then I have this Premier Color Fusion DK that changes colors. I have this Red Heart Soft Baby Steps. It's a really nice blue. I think I might use this for one of them. I pulled out another Premier Color Fusion DK. Kind of just like fun, bright colors. So that's one. Then I took out um, this Hirschner's Willow Rise yarn. It's in a seafoam green. I thought that might be pretty. And then the last one I pulled out was this um, Hobby Lobby's Baby Bee Sweet Delight. It has like all this fun stuff happening. So of course that's one, two, three, four. I showed you six yarns and I only have four more lobbies to make. So. Uh, let's see what happens. It'll just be kind of trial and error. I think I'll just try. I just, I'll just start and see. So yeah, I'm just going to do trial and error and see, um, which one of these yarns looks good with these stuffies. And then that will be done. Um, I'm going to finish the baby caps and then I'll have all these things ready for donations. Um, so I'm really excited. Um, I try, I guess every two to three months to have a donation ready to give to the hospital. And um, luckily my husband works at a hospital so I can just um, give the things through him. And um, yeah, it's just, it's just a sweet gesture on my part. I mean, I feel like I can make things and it would be nice to kind of give back. So it's just my way of, um, you know, doing my little bit of good in the world. So yeah, um, in my next video, I'm gonna share a couple more things with you and yeah, um, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, definitely leave me a comment. I love hearing from all of you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I hope you have a wonderful, crochetful day. And I'll see you again soon.